Hello, this is Jane and I'm going to show you the catch-up on the Oriental Journal. This journal I've been doing over about five years. I first did it in 15 and I did a video which um, you can go to if you'd like to see the catch-up of it and also see the differences because over the years it really has changed and you can see the thickness of this one and if you go to the other video you'll see it's 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 very much thinner um, and I've kept adding to these my journals I add to over um, time in the studio as different things come in and different images come in so there's lots and lots of techniques and things like that in there so you can see I'm using big rings in the previous ones they were small on the Mikado and of course it's a great um, opera by Arthur Sullivan the music um, and this little piece here is a part of the fan and the fan is actually on the inside cover and there's the fan um, beautiful um, image um, there and of course she's she's got here her, her royal headdress on this side um, they've got an envelope we've got we've got gold um, embossed areas and then inside are photographs from Hong Kong there's a, a butterfly again that was actually um, from um, China and uh, the different things in here this is lanterns um, from the lantern shop so I've, I've put keepsakes but also I've put things that people have given me um, over time and the things that I've collected a piece of chintz and it's on that um, paper that comes from sample books and a little picture of a, a geisha here is a pocket and in the pocket are lots of images now again in the previous one there was maybe one so I've actually put in different ones so there's a chintz notelet um, a Japanese um, scenery you can see here more chintzes and birds again scenery again with chintz on the back a card that I actually made for my husband um, with archery on you can see for his birthday and I've popped it on the back there so that goes in there a cut out bird cage here is one of those lovely um, sticks that you put for um, using hors d'oeuvres and of course in the midst of chaos lies creativity and in the studio often I collect lots and lots of stuff and at the moment when we're actually when I've been doing this um, on the table um, in the main studio it's full of traditional and um, fabrics and textiles and a collection that I'm actually using for inspiration so it looks very chaotic it has been organized and then what happens is it all goes into boxes and bags and things like that ready for me to use and also use for inside the studio and the shop so this actual journal goes inside a bag so it goes into into like a gift bag so this is another one of those um, pieces from the sample and that's a piece from a piece of fabric Japan a lovely image there a tiled roof a cutout one of the gold cutouts some lovely paper bamboo roofing and of course a dragon on lovely um, homemade um, paper goldfish and of course they come through there's several things on goldfish this was actually um, done um, a fish image then it was um, used with flaked embossed powders and then I took the image again and then it's put on top of, of paper and you can see his cards there's other cards and things in here some you know get they get put in at different times so there's a, an embossed card and those are images of lions that my aunt drew um, so I've got those in there as keepsakes too car making so this was one of those um, gold uh, punch outs which you literally you do the, use the peel offs and it's put on top of fabric and then put on top of foam board and then I've put it on top of a kimono okay and on the back there's the red one and then on the back here there's the gold one uh, inside the temples and you can see um, this is the chai curio store where they buy all the things for the the temples um, and that's sort of the inside of it another one of my embossed cards with um, an image um, of a Japanese lady in her kimono cockerels 
beautiful image again with the lovely writing. Okay. Gay sugar ladies with their lovely umbrellas and you, some of my work that I've used um, on the table for inspiration. So those are your traditional umbrellas and then here are your modern um, umbrellas. A lovely image with the um, autumn leaves so it says, even as it envelopes me, it is not mine. The autumn, the wind blowing through the, the pines, I regret how it makes them fall. The leaves, the scarlet leaves of the ivy. There we go. Books for inside, um, magazines, and of course it's a futon bed with um, quilts and things. And at the top, there's Muriaki. To do something with soul, creativity or love, to put something of yourself into your work. And that's what I try and do every single day. So a lot of creativity goes on. Um, a lot of collecting and sharing and sorting. So homemade paper, and it's got lots of dandelion um, clocks in there and seeds and a piece of bamboo. And we've got bamboo in the garden that screens my studio from the conservatory. Um, lovely uh, paper. And it's, it's got a, a lovely leaflet on um, caring for silk. So I've made it into an envelope. Cherry blossom. And we're doing lots of cherry blossom um, in art class this year. And lots of fold out and 3D things as well. A lovely piece of chintz paper. Again, one of my cards. And I, I've really overdone this one with lots of embossings um, and images. And inside, lots of cutouts. Um, there you go, and that paper again. Chopstick on the back, and we use the chopsticks in the studio um, for a pokey sticks to poke out corners and fabrics. These are parts of napkins, and again, cutouts that I've done. There we go. Out uh, the famous wave um, images. Um, a map of Japan and of course South Korea, North Korea, China and on just a little tip of Russia but, so you can see where it is in the world and this one actually is Indian so it actually shows the silk route through um, and also it's got Tibet, the old part of Tibet on there as well so lots of, lots of stamps lanterns old birthday cards when people sort of come into the studio and they spend time and of course birthdays um, are celebrated, people bring cards and also they bring in their spare cards from their birthdays so I often save them. This one was actually sent to me and again it's got the, the cherry blossom on and you can see I've put that in there. A traditional, very traditional postcard and on the back has got a lady doing the tea ceremony with one of their wonderful um, pots for heating the water. Cross stitch pattern. <laughs> Three little maids from school from the actual music of the Mikado. Uh, again that's a napkin. Lovely image of a geisha looking at cherry blossom and she's also got cherry blossom in her hair. Very modern um, photo, photo from a magazine and behind it um, some writing, Chinese writing. A lovely fan again, this is an old an old fan. So that's the actual front of the fan. Um, a lovely watercolour of the river. A book, The Empress Orchid by An Chi Min. These ladies are having uh, a discussion in their kimomos and again they've got the, the parasols there. And I've actually got coins that I've actually made from card and printed there. Peach blossom, a koi carp um, quilt from an exhibition that I went to in about the 1980s. So I've actually been, you know, collecting things for a long time. Um, this was sent to me um, in 2000, so that, that's in here too. The piano teacher, I read this, but also the insides I used for um, a folded paper technique. So this was, um, a book to read when I was on holiday and I actually used the paper while I was away on holiday as well once I'd read the book. This image looks like it's Japan but it's not, it's actually Cambridge um, and you can tell, you know some of the botanical gardens have that look. The White Rabbit 
with the full moon and of course this weekend we've actually had the full moon the first moon of 2020 little, little stamp there with um, the tea ceremony on some more chintz festival of japan i still haven't got to japan or china um it's still on my list to go so i've still got the leaflet um in here and it is still keeping me on the ball and i have said it out loud various times because i still want to go at cherry blossom time there's the lentons for celebration of the new year there we go some more um, home decor books and they really do look very modern japanesey very traditional image um, of a geisha again with her her headdress on lovely bamboo paper oh it's so crunchy it's wonderful and again the stamped image of fans and then this is actually um, part of a parasol um, image fabric now this was chintz fabric and this one was actually printed um, in Japan so I've, I've left that so I've actually got it um, as a resource in this little pocket now the, the paper actually came from a book from the British Museum um, it's all things on tigers so you can see there's a fun one for New Year oh and he's lovely a snow tiger um, so that's actually in here and also there's um, a CD in here as well based on um, tigers and their survival so that's all in there Chinese painting and materials book and this book actually shows you about calligraphy and I have several of the calligraphy kits and I'll be using them also in um, art class because I love to use Chinese brushes as part of um, the technique more pictures of tigers uh, China book of China um, and around um, the area of course where tigers are tiger balm always got that in the cupboard Okay, so um, a picture of the fish and this bit is a bit about the sort of cooking and catering all right so I love to arrange food to be photographed a lovely piece of paper from a magazine and then this this is a very old postcard and it's an Aleut woman by John Weber about 1750 to 93 he, he painted this um, and of course it was on the the route to go for the um, you know the holidays and go and see and document the different routes and also collect lots of things. Our local Chinese restaurant, which is very good. Now this, as you can see, is from 2015 when I actually started the book. I haven't taken these out because 2015 was the year of the ram and um, or the sheep and my daughter was born um, year of the sheep she was actually born in the Shetlands she was born in the year of the sheep and she's an Aries so because she, she was born at the um, sort of end of April so she's she's you know <laughs> very lucky to have all those three all in order so this is a, um, a cupboard of all the Chinese um, sort of ingredients that you need to do Chinese cooking and I love the steamers and the bamboo um, shaker there the whisk you can see it's from a cuckoo book and I actually used the cuckoo book in um, paper crafts of using for paper folding. Rice noodles, these ones are particularly good um, and inside I've used, I use these little packets as envelopes um, and then inside is um, a little tiny picture of the men fishing on a lovely river on a, a lovely piece of recycled paper and that was done by a um, Japanese gentleman um, who was over and he was literally um, he was on a course and he was just doodling and I happened to say that you know I did this and he went and had a look and he looked at this actual book so I've actually got that in mind to sort of as a keepsake fish and of course here are the the um, crabs along with the spider crabs which I just love seafood so that's in here and they're the meat products so another one of those cards but look at this beautiful vase with the peony peony in lovely scenery as you know um, Japan is famous for its gardens um, another image of a lovely lady in her costume and here is um, a piece of jade that's been carved 
um, almost as a handle or that on here would have been a tassel so at some point I will actually attach um, a little tassel on there so these are the traditional and then here is the modern so in 2015 this was actually one of the um, winners of the Miss World and she'd just gone off to America to university so again the orchids are here and it contains like little pockets and you can see there's different things in these little pockets if I take those out okay and you can see there's different tags and cards and things that have got cherry blossoms on and I've added on 3d cherry blossoms here to the other one these were on the front of a card again so you can see these are these are in here beautiful peony and then there's images of um, the cherry blossom different birthday cards and things that people have given me um, and I've popped them in there for keepsakes very modern um, image um, of Japan and fashion card another card that was given to me and on the back of that I've actually put the cherry blossoms now this was a stamp and I've embossed it and then coloured it the same with this and then I've popped a bag that I got in a, a Chinese store um, and inside is a, a little bookmark of some images okay a few lovely fuchsia painted in um, oriental inspired and then another lovely image this actually this envelope this is what held the original photographs that I got um, and also I've put he's a fan on there <laughs> bit of, I like things that sort of add and they add that bit of interest so inside here again there's all about the shops there's envelopes have gone in here oh a lovely Japanese gentleman in traditional costume um, and again uh, lovely scenery I love the Japanese homes and wood my my log cabin is is all wood and I love it and the veranda um, yeah there we go traditional ladies in wonderful costumes and if you think the costumes come from all the way around um, the Orient so that is represented really in here here as you can see the year of the ram and it's the Chinese New Year so I've popped that there now inside here um, <laughs> these are upside down when I fold it this um, sorry yeah when you read it from the other direction you've got um, joy love health and long life um, and this is the way you actually read it and I've written the other way so because a lovely lady commented um, on my previous one that I'd had them upside down so I've turned them round so I can see them also when I flip them they're the right way around but my writing is actually upside down so these are the the lovely duck shops a crispy deck okay fortune cookies we all love the fortune cookies we all sort of you know we know we know somebody was oh are they true or not but yeah we all like a bit of fun Japanese chair a lovely paper again with some stamps and a label um, this because this came from China when it was sent through the post I've taken it on and put it on there and I think that was for the rings of these actually so um, a card with lots of images on and what I've done is I've used it so that it holds um, porcelain and I just keep putting bits of porcelain and pottery in here that I use for inspiration and then there's a bowl and this that's folded in half we used this last year as a template to do one of the art classes so you can see they're used these journals are actually used as pieces um, for inspiration in the studio they are working documents and they are added to all the time so this bit is Madame Butterfly even though it's in a Mikado Madame Butterfly and I have taken Stuart to see Madame Butterfly and it was it was very good very very good uh, the Forbidden Palace and of course some textiles a poster um, from a Japanese opera that's on there the sun whose rays are all ablaze again from the Mikado there's a warrior samurai warrior and of course um, we've got in here there we go from the warrior's tomb okay 
um, very modern so we're coming right up to date now so I love Amne and I've got lots of books and things and I've drawn a lot of Amne figures um, and costumes and things and of course there's the contrast so there's the modern uh, but also there's there's these like the three little maids that are in Mikado but also if you think they sort of stretch through and also they come through in um, our video games and films you know like the um, Creed okay so magazines health food drink I pointed this out in the last video it's for prunes don't we all love prune juice especially at this time of year okay modern magazine of course fast cars if you've watched all the films this was the year of the ram because obviously it's a, a keepsake so it'd be my daughter will will have this one but also it's um if you think now 2020 it's year of the rat so it's a sheep Horico horoscope we all love our horoscope and it's normally at the back of the books so of course tongue-in-cheek i've put this one at the back of the book another one of those sample um cards a lovely old um image um, of a painting and this one's in the British Museum so I, I've got this from the British Museum and that's in here another one of those those cards okay we're at the back of the book now when we stopped in Hong Kong <laughs> I had to ask of course bathroom um, and also work out symbols because if you think a lot of the signs um, that you need are not always in English on top so I needed to learn so I actually took a picture of it so I then knew for future references where the toilet is so we needed to know um, that it was a little house technically um, and it, if you think it stood next to this is sort of a wash area as well so again this is another envelope and it's got um, cards um, postcards and buildings that we sort of saw when we did a, a quick and it was very quick um, look around Hong Kong a napkin with the pandas on um, and this I had to put this in because it says Chinese green if you think Silco they labeled all those and they called them wonderful names and I'm still looking to see if I can find any other because there is Chinese red and um, Emperor yellow so I'm having a, a look out for those this was part of a, uh, of a fan that that broke so that's in here now also since then if you notice I've had to put reinforcers because I've had so much in here and I keep adding so much to it and I will keep on adding to it um, even though it's in a bag and I put the things in the bag and then at this time of year I tend to do even more sticking and gluing which is what I've done again um, so it's a working journal um, it's a working piece for inspiration it stays in the studio so that anyone can see it um, and it's it's just a good working um, piece um, okay so I hope you've enjoyed this um, look through of the oriental journal um, if you want to see the actual um, other version of this the older version of this so you could see the difference not only in the thickness of all the stuff that I've put in but also the different there's different things in there as well um, to here um, I'll put the link below but also if you go over to the art studio daily YouTube which this is on if you have a look at the other videos um, and subscribe you'll then be able to see even more that come through because we're at the start of the year so I tend to then do lots more for all the things coming up okay so I'm going to leave it there and see you in the studio shortly